Tonight, we see the ugly side of social media. A viral video shows what appears to be a man taking a baseball from a kid. Now this man is fearing for his life, bashed on Facebook. CBS 2's Roseanne Taya spoke to a witness at the game who says social media got it wrong. The Cubs first base coach tosses a foul ball to a child, but when it rolls under the seat, the man in the next row grabs it, seemingly ignoring the boy and handing it off to a woman. Social media lit up. The man was called a heartless Cubs fan, a terrible grown man, evil. Well, a man who was sitting next to him went to his defense. He'd already helped that kid get a ball. TV got this all wrong, tweeted Chuck Mykoff, who says today that fan who was visiting from out of town is reluctant to leave his hotel room. He thanked me for, for stepping up, one, and, and, and getting out in front for him. Um, the second thing he said is he's, he's still a little bit afraid. He was absolutely overwhelmed. After talking to the little boy's family, the Chicago Cubs are also going to bat for the man. The family was deeply dismayed to hear about the terrible accusations. A video has made a national villain out of an innocent man. What does that say to you about the power of social media. It's frightening. Tracy yeah, Samantha Schmidt is a social media consultant. Do you think people need to just push the pause button before they make a comment? It's Twitter. They're not going to press pause. Twitter moves in real time, unlike Facebook. So the immediacy of it is what's part of the problem. Wyckoff called it a mind blowing experience. And I just kept seeing all these things and I'm going, boy, that's crazy. In fact, I'm still seeing it. They're having an anniversary trip and so far today they haven't had much fun. Well, the Cubs say this fan was on his very first trip to Wrigley, and they hope this didn't ruin his trip. As for Cubs fans outside the game tonight, many admit to thinking he was a real jerk. After hearing the real story, some saying tonight that they are sorry. Live outside Wrigley Field, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Erica? Yeah, it's good to get the whole picture here. Thank you, Roseanne.